Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, what's <laughs> going on? Hey, you waiting for a Piccadilly? <laughs> No, that's not an ice cream truck. It has to stay on. It's a DEXA scan machine. DEXA scan? Who's that? Your auntie? No, no. It's a scan to oh. show how strong your bones are. <laughs> See, when you get older, they get weaker. No way. But when you're young, yeah. strong. It's a do. <laughs> and what it does is it measures for osteoporosis. Osteoporosis? Yes. As you get older, your bones get weaker huh. and they can break more easily. That happened to my mom. It's more prominent in women as they oh, get older, okay. but it also in men too. Us? Yes, us. If you smoke. Yeah. Mm. Smoke. If you drink. Drinking. No. Lack of calcium? No. Oh, and man. clearly, lack of exercise. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, man, jeez, maybe my bones are weak. They you know, might because, be. you know, I'm like lactose intolerant. I'm salad bar intolerant, all kinds of intolerance. Well, hey, I don't exercise much. Hey, check this out. You know what you can do is you can get a hold of your provider and they can set up an appointment for really? you. Yeah, you can okay. have it done. All right. Lactose intolerance? Shh, big time. Can't drink milk? No. Can't eat ice cream? Hey, Tota, hey. Hey, you can actually get calcium from leafy green vegetables. Yeah. Spinach? Spinach, okay. stuff like that. Ah, that okay. can really help you. I didn't know there was calcium in those things. Yeah, you know what else? What? Juniper ash. What? Juniper ash has calcium. Calcium in trees? One teaspoon of juniper ash equals to 300 milligrams of calcium. Gee, that didn't even teach me that in Cub Scouts, man. <laughs> I didn't know that. So now you don't have to drink one cup of milk because that's what it equals to. Ah, okay. No clitty for you yes. now. <laughs> no clitty, but I want to be witty. No be no clitty. <laughs> Dairy products like milk, yogurt, cheese, Cottage cheese and ice cream are all great sources of calcium. Other food sources of calcium are dark leafy green vegetables like spinach, kale, turnip, and collard greens. Also fortified cereals such as total cereal or raisin bran and cornflakes. Fortified orange juice, beans such as garbanzos, kidney beans, navy beans, and even canned baked beans. Cooked broccoli, Chinese cabbage, edamame, and acorn squash. We can also get calcium from papaya or even dried figs. If you choose to eat fish, it can be from canned sardines or salmon with the bones in it. And then we can even find calcium added into soy milk or almond milk. We should get at least 1,200 milligrams of calcium each day. But if you're not getting enough calcium in your diet, talk to your doctor and ask them about supplementing your diet with calcium and vitamin D. Taking steps to improve your bone health can start at any age. For women, it's even more important after menopause. Eating well, getting enough calcium, and doing the right exercises can help keep your bones strong as you age. Exercises produce important strain on your bone. Certain exercises help improve muscular strength. Others improve cardiovascular health. And some exercises help improve balance. Improving balance is important to prevent falls. Always consult a doctor before starting any type of exercise program. If you are concerned about osteoporosis, you might need a bone density test or a fitness assessment. Before you start, think about the types of activities you enjoy most. There are four different types of exercise, strength training, weight-bearing aerobic activity, flexibility exercises, and balance and stability exercises. At least I had the Zeil Ata, Sae had Toto had Sen, Hitchip at Zeal, Nana Sae had Jade Stroll, Nayil Nestop at Skel Eosin, Nana Sae had Kit Art on the Hat Seat Arger, at Art Swatcher Eya, Njon had Hustle Benea, a coho. At East Hartel Zay, um, Ben at den Schatten, so a Elt a Huezel in a barge dog gal, Ada a Huye lato sail topic a how ish or lean. Ado had a niggy eight or had dust ego, do don George and not Nisco a had an hobbit and all as a ill eager. Ado at East Hart at East Hart to say. A bishnel are that's a dot up or schnell, any a hobahotozin. 
Strength training includes the use of free weights, resistance bands, or your own body weight to strengthen all major muscle groups, especially spinal muscles, which are important for posture. Resistance training can also help maintain bone density. If you use weight machines, avoid twisting your spine while performing exercises or adjusting the machines. Resistance training should be tailored to your ability and tolerance, especially if you have pain. A physical therapist or a personal trainer can help you develop strength training routines. Pop form and technique are critical for preventing injury and getting the most from your workout. <laughs> resistant bands itna adonana ahwa hatta sto cho eti ko hatto tatan sago e petzil e yosan benia and she said you step on it don't snap it don't snap it <laughs> okay students we're here we're going to really do this up one are we there yet? Can we take a break? We're not standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona anymore. We're kneeling. And <sighs> we're done. This is one. Two. This is two. <laughs> Wait. Three. <laughs> oh. It's like push that in your car. Okay, you're up. Back. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Am I doing, how, how's my form? <laughs> the way you guys yebiche is exactly what you're doing. How many of these are we gonna do? As far as it raises. Reminds me of DUI tests. <laughs> I saw this res dog doing this outside. <laughs> My DEXA scan. How am I doing, Ossifer? <laughs> Count backwards from 10, <laughs> 9. The res dog exercise. <laughs> 8. <laughs> Any switch sides? Yeah, switch sides, 5. Oh, shoot. Switch sides, okay. 5. Talk to me, Goose. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> weight-bearing aerobic exercise involves doing aerobic exercise on your feet with your bones supporting your weight. Examples include walking, dancing, low-impact aerobics, elliptical training machines, stair climbing, and gardening. These types of exercise work directly on the bones in your legs, hips, and lower spine to slow bone mineral loss. They also benefit your cardiovascular system, which boosts your heart and circulatory system. It's important that aerobic activities, as beneficial as they are for your overall health, are not the whole of your exercise program. It's also important to work on strength, flexibility, and balance. Swimming and cycling have many benefits, but they don't provide the weight-bearing load your bones need to slow bone mineral loss. However, if you enjoy these activities, do them. Just be sure to add some weight-bearing activity too. It's extra hard to say it's in Brazili. Um, so probably not in the um, arranged ta adonana gesto adonana in the it's extra hard to say. Um, so probably not be especially in the. It's an expert DJ, Higgy. The cut job, Gatliggy. A good a he that you just own. Yet a Adonana, a hini, not your job, Gatna Hallo, Bacho, Gatna Hallo, Edo Hallo, Adonana, Aho, Hadag, a Hallo, do a binge in the shun, John. I feel like saying Namaste. What if this is a Namaste? <laughs> Are you rolling? Okay. <laughs> Please tell me you're rolling. Because <laughs> I'm about to roll forward. 
Man, how old are you? I know that you're like young. You're supposed to respect your elders. We're going nowhere, people. We're going nowhere. Oh, yeah, it's like grand entry. Yeah. Think about it that way, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fun part. Having flashback? It's flashing. It's fla flashing before my eyes. We're dancing, we're moving, we're grooving. <laughs> it's kind of silly without any music. Please insert music here. <laughs> Wherever I may roam. This is my fear of doing I feel, doing, feel like Woody from Toy Story. She's got it down. These guys are professionals. Flexibility exercise involves moving your joints through their full range of motion to keep your muscles working well. Stretches are best performed after your muscles are warmed up. At the end of your exercise session, for example, or after a 10 minute warm up. They should be done gently and slowly without bouncing. Avoid stretches that flex your spine or cause you to bend at the waist. Ask your doctor which stretching exercises are best for you. Are you getting this? Put your left foot front. What is this supposed to work? Your calves? Your chin or your chin? Because <laughs> my chin is shaking. And so you so you'll get chin splits. Stability and balance exercises help your muscles work together in a way that keeps you more stable and less likely to fall. Simple exercises such as standing on one leg or movement-based exercises such as Taiji Kwan can improve your stability and balance. Fall prevention is especially important for people with osteoporosis. <laughs> Do we look like we don't know what we're doing? Because we don't. That's why we're reaching. We can't go to the moon. This is how we Yeah. <clears throat> if you already have osteoporosis, stay active the safe way. Muscles help protect your bones. Exercising if you have osteoporosis means finding the safest, most enjoyable activities for you, given your overall health and amount of bone loss. There is no one-size-fits-all prescription. In individuals who already have osteoporosis, it's important to avoid exercises that result in forward bending of the spine or exercises with hard, jarring motions. In addition, we recommend exercises that avoid twisting or jerking of the spine. If you're concerned about the risk for fracture, work with a physical therapist to develop a safe and appropriate exercise program. It's never too late to start exercising. High impact exercises like jumping, running, or jogging can help build strong bones. But if you already have osteoporosis, avoid these exercises. They can lead to fractures and weakened bones. Avoid jerky, rapid movements in general. Choose exercises with slow controlled movements. If you're generally fit and strong despite having osteoporosis, you might be able to engage in somewhat higher impact exercise than someone who is frail. Discuss any limitations you might have with your provider. Avoid bending and twisting. 
Exercises where you bend forward at the waist and twist with your waist, such as touching your toes or doing sit-ups, can increase your risk of compression fractures in your spine if you have osteoporosis. Other activities that may require you to bend or twist forcefully at the waist are golf, tennis, bowling, and some yoga poses. If you're not sure how healthy your bones are, talk to your medical provider. Don't let fear of fractures keep you from having fun and being active. Virtual and on-site programs are offered at the Wellness Center. Call to find out more about the programs that are currently available. If you would like a physical therapy evaluation, discuss this with your medical provider so that a referral can be generated. It's extra the day in the patient's case of Bija. Aya, yen ben dantian. Aronana, um, akuja, hajongo in the wellness begins on the Bija store. Aji, um, yen dantinigi, land the has trans store. Adohuna at the kid had no a kuja beach be hushed on. Okay, so Dexa scan. Leafy green vegetables. Yeah. Calcium. Watch out for your meds and okay. your medications. Steroids can also weaken the bones too. Oh yeah. Huh. Don't get no steroid jobs. Didn't know that. Yeah. They're gonna call my name here pretty soon. All right. Okay. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Are you ready for your Dexa? Dexa scans measure your bone density. It is commonly used to find out if you have osteoporosis can also predict your future from fractures and any bone loss. It's a simple scan, quick and painless. You will lie on a table and the scanner will go over your body scanning those bones in your lower spine and your hips. You mustn't have any metal rivets or zippers in your clothing. Pull up pants with an elastic waistband or vest. If you're taking calcium supplements, do not take any on the day of your test as it can interfere with your test results. If you've recently had barium studies, you should refrain from having a DEXA scan in close proximity. You are done. You will come and sit up. Bend your legs up. Sit at the end of the table. Get your balance. Make sure you're not dizzy from laying down in that horizontal position. All right. You have to get vertical again. Okay. Good. So that's a basic exam and then the radiologist will give the report to your provider. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I don't get a sucker? No. DEXA scans are done by referral. If you're interested in getting a DEXA scan done, please discuss this with your medical provider and a referral will be done if indicated.